they're going to get behind this Polish pair. It's going to be Brzostek to get us underway first. It's a clever little short serve to begin with. It's a firm spike, though, from Van der Blist. This one to be pretty tough to call, incidentally. First time these two pairs have met before. Van der Blist and Van Hestel haven't played that many top-level FIVB tournaments this year. They've had injuries problems, particularly Van Hester, but they've uh, been on top form this year, as Van Hester serves down an ace, going right in the middle, I think both uh, Kolosinicka and Brzostek just thinking the other player was going to cover it, that takes a nick off the net, not the best pickup from Brzostek, but Kolosinicka just helps it over the net, and with the help of the net cord, Poland are on the board, or are they in fact? The point has actually gone the way of the Netherlands. I think it's for touching the net here. Let's have a look. Fell into their opposing player, Did Kolosinicka. The point is not overturned, so it will be a third straight point for the Dutch pair. Of course, uh, Kolosinicka and Brzostek played a Dutch pair in their semi-finals, as they do now get on the board. Lost to Metelink and Van Ersel in straight sets. It was a very tight second set. And you just felt there was a few nerves in the pair. They started slowly in that one. And you have to say they've started a little slowly here in this bronze medal matchup as well. Of course, it's always difficult to deal with the pressure of being the team with the home advantage. Van der Bliss misses the spike, firing it into the net. So they had a, a stunning win over Heather Bansley and Sara Paven in the last 16. Winning 16-14 in the third. They certainly dealt with the pressure well in that match, although they're of course the underdogs as we see a first block from Kolesianiska. Got up really well. And, uh, well, said there was a few early nerves. They may well have forgotten about that. Three points in a row for the Polish team. It's going to be Van der Blist to go for this one. Power just about enough to get it past Kolosinicka this time. Yeah, it's just great to see Van der Blist and Van Hestel playing at this sort of level. Very talented pair, young pair too. Van Hestel just 24 years of age. And both of these teams pretty young really in beach volleyball terms. Both having bright futures ahead, no doubt. Brzostek unable to put the spike away, so a chance here for the Dutch to counter, but they can't. It's a huge block by Kolesianiska. Second one of the game already. Got up well. Spread her arms too. Made herself big. It's the four points all. Brzostek then with the serve. Going down the middle. It's not very well dealt with, and Kolesianiska just has the simple task of dotting it down. For the first time in this set, Poland have the lead. For Joe Steck to serve again. Having to get down low was Van der Vlist. Can't put the ball away though. And now a real chance to finish the point off, just tipped in the air. And the point will go to the Poles. The referee just indicating that the, the ball was held. Two point advantage then for the Polish side. Of course, they were the eighth seeds coming into this, and as I've already mentioned, their Dutch opponents had to go through qualifying. So they are the favourites for this when you look at the rankings. And that's a lovely spike cross court from Brzostek. They're beginning to find a rhythm. They certainly have the momentum now. Remember, there were three love down. They now find themselves with a healthy lead. Nice, comfortable cross-court spike by Brzostek. It's 7-4, and the first timeout is called. Talked about world rankings. Kolesianiska and uh, Brzostek. The World Tour rankings are 17th. They're 10th in the provisional Olympic rankings. And when you compare that to Van der Blist and Van Hestel, Van Hestel uh, and Van der Blist, 41st in the World Tour rankings, 39th on the provisional Olympic rankings. But you feel they're very much uh, getting themselves ready for 2016. Plenty to discuss for the Polish pair. Yes, this is
I will be a little disappointed with maybe how they played in that semi-final and the fact that they just started slowly. They were, the second set I felt was a lot stronger in terms of quality. They just didn't win a couple of the longer rallies, which when you look back at that second set, where they lost it 21 points to 19, that really was the difference in the end. But they've made a good start here, leading 7-4 in the first set. And it's Peugeot Steck to serve again. Underneath it now is Van Hestel, and it's Van der Vlist. It's another block. On fire right now. Nice setup. Just a little bit predictable. Take nothing away from Kolotoniska, just angling her body right on top of the net. And Van Hestel unable to keep it alive. And they've won one out of just nine points, the Dutch team. Ach, Papa, ich habe dir doch erst letzte Woche was gekauft. Willkommen bei der Kinderleicht Shoppenbank. Jetzt ganz einfach und sicher online bezahlen. Mit PayDirect. Und jetzt ab ins Bett. Postbank, eine Bank fürs Leben. Ja. die richtigen Dinge für Menschen, für die zu Hause der beste Ort der Welt ist. Weltbild. Online, in der Filiale und am Telefon. Ihre Route wird berechnet. Jetzt links abbiegen, rechts abbiegen. Sie haben Ihr Ziel verfehlt. Ich würde sagen, Treffer. Volkswagen. Talk about a momentum shift. Here comes Van der Vlis. Can she get a pass? Can she Iska this time, she can, find the line. Played with a number of partners throughout her career as uh, Van der Vlist. Brachman, Vettelink, Morden and Van der Hooveren. Seems settled now though with Van der, with uh, Van Hessel. I mentioned Van Hessel being uh, injured earlier on, picked up an injury at the World Championships and they talked a lot about how it's helped them refocus and allow them just to discuss things that were going on on the court. They've always said being friends off the court is not a problem. They find it easy to talk to each other. But they've uh, certainly got it tactically right here in Alston. Quality spike that time from Van der Blist. Listen, I beg your pardon. Brugeau stick. Right into the corner. A little nick off the net. Here's Kolosiniska. Just dipping down low, but it's nicely controlled by Van Hestel. Well received, though, by Brugeau stick. Nice interchange at the net. Quick hands from both teams, and Kolosiniska, well... She is a tower right now at the front of the court. Like the proverbial brick wall. They just can't get it past it. Super block. Helps being, of course, uh, five foot ten inches tall. She's got a decent leap on her as well, Kolosiniska. A little bit scrappy from the Dutch, and Kolosiniska is able to. Keep the point alive. Can she finish it off as well? The answer is yes, she can. And just when the Dutch looked like they were coming back, they brought it back to within a two-point game. A couple of quality defensive plays from Kolosiniska. That one, she turns defence into attack. Star player right now and gets a nick off the net. Everything going right for Kinga Kolosiniska right now. Riding on the crest of a wave, and the Polish fans here on centre court loving every second of it. Little lucky. She apologised to her opponents. It's a very good sport, Kinga. The fans really helping 
the Polish pair get even more momentum. Again, going up with the hit. The block is there from Koleszyniska, but the ball deflecting away from Brzozostek. And at least the Dutch pair stop the rock for now. And through the arms of Koleszyniska, very close to yet another block. Koleszyniska underneath this one. Brzozostek with the set. It's a nice set too, and it's only ever going to be one outcome with a set like that. Time to wind up for the 25-year-old. Pierced the middle of the Dutch pair. Pujostek then with the serve. Drops nice and short and they just go with the two hits. Technical timeout then. And you feel it's uh, Kolesiniska and Brzozostek who are in control of this bronze medal match so far. As the cheerleaders come onto the court to entertain the fans, they certainly have it all here. As I said, it's uh, situated on the beautiful Ukiel Lake. If you just take a, a walk along the lake, you get out to court too as well, and there's all sorts there. In terms of you can have your nails painted, you can learn how to dance, you can grab a bite to eat, and of course you can watch plenty of beach volleyball. You can even have a swim if you like as well. It really is an event that uh, you have to try and make if you're a fan of beach volleyball. It's been a very successful hosting venue so far. Of course, it's the 12th time that Poland has held a Grand Slam event, but it's the first time here in Austin. We've got decent weather for it as well. There you go, there's the lake. Wonderful surroundings, picturesque place. But the main thing is that there's high quality beach volleyball going on. Of course, the uh, women's final will take place after this one. That one between uh, Mepelink and her partner Van Ersel as they take on the top seeds. Kalita Anginez and Larissa Franca from Brazil. But now our focus is here on this bronze medal matchup. It is uh, Van Hestel to serve for the Dutch. 13-8 down in the first set. Here comes Brzozostek. Has she found the line? Point is given to the Poles. A bit of uh, confusion on the Dutch players' faces. Must have found the line. Underneath it, here's the set then for Van der Vlist. Hasn't had a, a great job of getting it away from the Polish pair. Backpedalling this time, Van der Vlist. Can she keep it alive? No, she can't, despite the dive. This time, Brzozostek with the spike. They backpedalled it, and it was a good idea. And they were covering the court well. Just couldn't react to the fist from Van der Vlist. This now with the set. Oh, super spike too. In fact, it was Van der Vlis with the spike. Steamed in, powered at home down the line. There is uh, Nina Hobie, of course, the uh, referee for this one. You may well have uh, seen clips of her on YouTube. And she was proposed to before the European Championships on court by another referee. She said yes. That's a lovely little dink. Over six million views, incidentally, I think that video has got. Coolness personified on the spike this time for Just Dinking it into the open space on the court. Good awareness shown by her. Oh, that's a super block. Both Dutch players slightly out of position. And it was all a little predictable. Kent getting up brilliantly well, spreading those arms. How many blocks has Kolosiniska had in this opening set? Four or five now. I just can't get it past the 25-year-old from Lublin. Brzozostek to serve then. As the Poles are slowly closing in on taking this first set. Not the best to serve though that time. But it's a seven-point game. Healthy lead here for Kolosiniska and Brzozostek. When you think about the fact that they started three love down in the first set, it's been one-way traffic. 
Kolosinska underneath that one. Brzostek with the set. Kolosinska, easy pickings. You just run wonder whether Van der Vlist and Van Hestel have run out of it, a bit of steam. They say they looked a little tired in their semi-final. Remember, having played those two qualifying matches, they've been out on court for a lot longer than most other teams. Have. Oh Papa, ich habe dir doch erst letzte Woche was gekauft. Willkommen bei der Kinderleicht Shoppenbank. Jetzt ganz einfach und sicher online bezahlen. Mit Pay Direct. Und jetzt ab ins Bett. Postbank, eine Bank fürs Leben. Ihre Route wird berechnet. Jetzt links abbiegen, rechts abbiegen. Sie haben Ihr Ziel verfehlt. Ich würde sagen, Treffer. Volkswagen. Played for well over four hours on the court, nearly five hours in total. And here comes Brzeau's deck, that's a nice disguise. The Dutch doing well just to keep the point going. Brzeau's setting it up for Kolosinska. Has she got too much of that? Yes, she has. Nice rally, though. And it started on Tuesday this week, did it? Van der Vlist and Van Hessen. They've come a long, long way. And they'll look back at this as a, a success no matter what happens here today. But I'm sure they would both love a bronze medal. Kloschenisken out with the spike. It was a little scrappy on the set. And that one's going to be very close to the net. It's going to be another point for the Dutch who are just making a bit of a comeback in this second set now. Almost going with the fist. Van der Vlist. Certainly with the knuckles, anyway. And the list to serve. Feel that it's a type of game. It's when teams get momentum, they can go on runs and rolls. And feel the Dutch could still do that, could still be in this set. But they've got a lot of work to do, particularly with the way Kinga Kolosinska is playing right now. Lovely deft hands, just placing it into the open space. And here comes Van der Vlist. Powerful spike, but it's well defended by Brzeau's deck, and then it's terrifically finished off as well. Soft hands on the first dig, and then quick feet up to the ball. And again, soft hands on the spike. Eight set points for Team Poland. You'd never guess it, would you, with the, the way that the fans are reacting? Floated in. Can they keep this set alive? Van der Vleer, well, it's apt that it finishes in that way, isn't it, really? Kolosinska, who's been all over the net for the whole of the set. They've struggled to get it past the time and time again. And it is the Polish team who have got the party started here on centre court. They take the first set, 21 points to 12. Really, after a, a slow start by Kolesniska and Brzeostek, they were able to get themselves going, and really it was the defence that really shone in that opening set. They were able to get plenty of blocks, particularly Kolesniska against Van der Blist. They will feel confident of possibly getting their first ever bronze medal. And what a time it would be to get it in front of their home fans. They may have looked back on 2015 a little disappointingly in terms of uh, not being able to get into any other quarterfinals. Remember they've had uh, four ninth place finishes in Long Beach, Gustad, Stavanger and Perec. Which has been decent for them. But it's quarterfinals and semi-finals that they want to be contesting. And the way Polish volleyball is going and just how young they are, you feel that it won't be long before they will be regular figures in the last eight and last four of Grand Slams and Major Series. Have fun in many ways around here. Speedster.
guessing he's uh, coming in for the final. Right then, back to the volleyball. It's, uh, Van Hessel to get this second set underway. Oh, that's beautifully done by Kolesianiska. The diving touch, I should say. Not quite sure what that shot is called. It was special either way. And it's Brzeau's stick then to serve. And it's just going to help Poland keep the momentum going to start the set with that sort of a point. And again, Kolesianiska is there. It's almost as if she has more than just two arms. They seem absolutely everywhere, reading every single attack that the Dutch throw at her. And again, she gets the better of uh, Van der Vlist. Nice short serve from Brzeustek. Point again goes to Poland again. The ball is held, despite the protestation of Van Hessel. Have to accept that they've lost the first three points of this second set. For Joystek, again going with the same serve, short. Sure, why not? With Kolosinska with the way she's been blocking. This time, though, finally, Van der Vlist is able to get it past the giant blocker. Bit of space down the line, just angled her body, took it a little later. Deadly accurate on that occasion, Van der Vlist, despite losing her sunglasses. There is Van der Vlist then with the serve. Going to Brzeustek. Good block this time from Van der Vlist. Again, Brzeustek will have the chance to finish the point off. This time it's a terrific dig and then a great spike as well. Super play there from Van der Vlist. She's had a bit of a hard game, you have to say, so far in this matchup. But made the most of that opportunity. Turning defence into attack in quick succession. Brzeustek underneath it. Kolesianiska. It's just going to be blocked, well, digged into the open space. Both arms aloft for Van der Vlist. Oh, good response this from the Dutch team. Just flicked up in the air and that was quick thinking. Saw the space, both the poles on the left-hand side of the court. Nudging it into the open space. So a bit of a roll now, three points in a row for the Dutch. First time that's happened since the first set. So right at the beginning of the first set, that is. It's Brajot's step. Slams down another spike. Stops the run for the Dutch team. Oh, find the line. Great serve. First service ace for Kolesianiska. Showing she can do a bit of everything out there on centre court right now. We've seen her block, we've seen her defend. We've seen her put a few spikes away as well. Now she's got the ace to add to the collection. Oh, that is a bullet from Van der Vlist. Plenty of time to wind up on it. Crunches it down the middle, down the baseline. As I say, Van der Vlist, her best ever achievement, fourth in The Hague with uh, Veselink. Also ninth last year in Sao Paulo. The only player to have won a Grand Slam on the court right now is Van Hessel. We won it with Mepelink in Corrientes in 2013. Also was uh, won the silver in Klagenfurt in 2012, again with Mepelink, and was fourth in Shanghai in 2013. So she has mixed it at this level on a number of occasions. The Dutch have certainly fought back here at five points all. And they finish this point off well. Kolesianiska is there again with the block, but this time it's deflected out. Just didn't really see this coming, I have to say. Polish side who won the first set comfortably, went three love up in the second. He thought they were going to run away with this second set, but now they find themselves behind. Serve coming in, and this time it does just drift out. Worth a go, though, from Van Hestel. 
The fans get on their feet around the centre court, hoping for something special from the Polish pack. Can they get another block? The answer is no, they can't. Great spike from Van der Blis. Nice high set. They say plenty of time to wind up, and this time firing it past Kolesianiska. Just maybe beginning to read the blocking of Kolesianiska. Mixing up the attacks. Finds the line. Does Bajot's deck. Not much margin for error down that line. Let's have a look at this. Got up, guided it past the, her opponent and on to the line. Kolesianiska next to serve. Seven points all. The most controlled reception. And the spike is also missed. So a point that I'm sure Van der Blist wouldn't want to relive. Polish team who edge in front again, eight points to seven. Back pedaling, another big occasion is Van Hester. Again, they find a way to get it past Kolosinska. She got a touch to it. So look at this, one hand on it. Frustration for the 25 year old. Van Hestelen with the serve. Kolosinska with the high set. And it's finished off again by Brzozostek. Doesn't often go with power, Brzozostek. But it's very, very accurate. Again, there wasn't much margin for error. And yet again, finds the line. Brzozostek to serve. She likes that short one, just, just misses it. She's found the line a couple of times on the spike. This time on the serve, wasn't quite able to find it. Got a swerve on it as well. Oh, whisker. A grain of sand wide, you may say. Brzozostek underneath it. There's Kolesiniska. And it's enough from Brzozostek. Just quite, weren't quite ready with the block there on that occasion, Van der Vlist. Just got up slightly late. Had she been able to get an inch or two higher, then maybe that would have been a block kill. Kolosinicka down the line. There's the set. Oh, it's a vicious spike. Too hot to handle. Great hit by Van der Vlist. We love these slow motion pictures. See Kolesinska. There was encouragement from Brzeau's deck, but I don't think Kolesinska knew where the ball was. Ten points all. It was tough to deal with. I think it was a second thought from Brzeau's deck to hit the ball. She's glad she did now, though, because she was able to finish the point off. Brilliant spike right into the corner. Watch this. Got up well. Couldn't be any more accurate than that. As we hit a timeout, it is uh, a very, very tight game. Again, I will remind you, coming up after this one, we have the final. Remember, this is the final Grand Slam event of the year. The fifth final Grand Slam. The fifth and final Grand Slam, I should say. Of course, Fort Lauderdale will be host to the Tour Finals at the end of September. That will be pretty special. Still ranking points on offer for that and for the Olympic Games, of course. Everyone jostling for position for uh, next year's Olympic Games in Rio. So much to play for. Yeah, such a big event. But just a reminder, final will be between another Dutch pair, Nepalin and Van Ersen, and they'll take on the Brazilian top seeds, Kalita and Larissa, looking to win their seventh tournament of the year. Should be fascinating. But right now, the bronze medal still up for grabs and still it's tough to say who's going to go on and take it. Have to favour the Polish pair. Having taken the first set, and they've got a very narrow lead in the second, 11 10.
Peugeot, she needs to get them with the set. Peugeot stick. Tidy volleyball. And just seems to know where the open spaces are. Delicately done. Kolosinicka. Bit of swerve. We've seen it all tournament from Kolosinicka. She likes that serve down the line. She likes it just to swerve away from her opponent. And by away, I mean going towards, going out of the court. And it maybe just makes the reception that much tougher because you may be able to think the ball is going out. Kolosinicka. Well, we've seen her do a nice serve. That's another tidy block. But they didn't panic the Dutch. This time Van Hestel getting up well to fire it away. Now he nearly got another block there though, Kolosinicka. Brzostek. Kolosinicka, Brzostek. Oh, great diving dig at the back of the court. But Hart isn't there again, Van Hester. That one was just too good. The Holes regain that two-point advantage. It's a terrific first response from Van Hester. But you could only watch in disappointment as the ball dropped inside the court second time around. Brajot stick then with the serve. This is going to be set up. Great block again. What a performance this is from Kinga Kolosinicka. It's been a little quiet on the blocks in the second set. She was all over the place in the first set. In a good way all over the place. That's more like it. Brzostek down the middle. Confusion on the Dutch side of the court. They're on a roll right now. The Poles, as the Dutch call, a timeout. Well, you can understand the timeout being called. They both just looked at each other. To give credit to the server in that occasion. Oh, Papa, ich habe dir doch erst letzte Woche was gekauft. Willkommen bei der Kinderleicht Shoppenbank. Jetzt ganz einfach und sicher online bezahlen. Mit Pay Direct. Und jetzt ab ins Bett. Postbank, eine Bank fürs Leben. With a swerve on it as well. Both players leaving it for each other. So, uh, it's a four point advantage for the Poles. And remember, they took the first set to Kolosinicka and uh, Brzostek. Who have uh, twice played in Poland before. Last year in uh, Stary Jablonki, where the uh, Grand Slam was held. They finished ninth. And they finished ninth at the World Championships in Stary Jablonki. 2013 as well. In terms of how they got on this year in the World Championships in uh, in the Netherlands, they finished 17th. And there is uh, Van der Vlist and Van Hestel probably had their best performance of the year, you would say, in their homeland. They also were able to finish 17th. Well, it's uh, a wonderful picture, isn't it, with the lake in the background and the crowd with their colours in the foreground. Oh, they're going to be celebrating in just a few moments' time. Not if uh, Van der Vlist continues to spike like that. Again, finding a way past Kolosinicka. Pushed wide. Point one on serve. That hasn't happened too often in this match for the, the Dutch. And that's because the Poles haven't really made too many errors. It's a low one. Brzostek underneath it. Kolosinicka then with a high set. Trying to go for the crafty little dink again, Brzostek, but didn't get it done. And that's just missed. It was well left by Brzostek. Didn't miss by much from Van Hessel. Edging ever closer to a first bronze medal. Polishinitska with the serve. It's going to be set up then for Van der Vlist. Find the court. 
as well as base, you can see that. Although uh, the joystick wasn't that far away from it. it. Had to be good. And was. Polishinska underneath it. And she finish it off. Goes for the corner. Doesn't find the corner. Pushes it just wide. So maybe a few nerves and just trying to finish this match off for Polishinska and Brzostek. A couple of errors. They've just allowed the Dutch back into the set. Looked like they were running away with it momentarily. Of course, it would be a really big achievement for them to win the bronze in their homeland. That's better from Kolasinicka. It's an easier shot to execute. But got it right. Execute did, and you can see that Van Hestel and Van der Vlist thought she was going to go for the big one down the line. Good disguise on the spike. Another great block. It's going to be just about kept going by the Dutch. But the Poles will have time to wind up. Terrific play. Brzozostek finishes a terrific rally off. One of the better rallies we've seen today. Bit of drama throughout it. But Brzozostek, whilst the drama was happening, kept her cool. And Kolosinicka and Brzozostek are two points away. Joystick with the serve, it's going to be another point for the Poles. And two points away becomes one point away. It is a point for the bronze medal. Here we go then. It's kept alive by Brzozostek. Can she finish it off? No, she can't, not yet anyway. It's a bit of a scrap. Brzostek again underneath it. Kolosinicka to set it up for Brzostek. There it is. They win the bronze. And look what it means to them. Devastation for the Dutch. But you have to say it was deserved for Kolosinicka and Brzostek. They win their first ever bronze medal at this level of beach volleyball. And they've done it in their homeland here in Poland. Well, they've been playing together regularly since 2011. It's been four years since they started together on a regular basis. And in 2015, they finally claimed their first ever bronze medal. Really, it was a quality performance from start to finish. They got a little edgy towards the end there, but they are able to come past uh, Van Hestel and Van der Vlist. You have to say, Van der Vlist and Van Hestel have had a, an excellent tournament coming through qualifying. I don't think anyone expected them to reach the semi-finals, but it was maybe just a match too far for them today. And in particular, Kolosinicka, who just had a quite stunning game. She was everywhere.